Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again to the E70M Garage. Um, X5 here is due for an oil change and I've been thinking for a while to, to tighten up the oil pump chain, uh, but I never got a chance to actually get underneath and open up the lower oil pan. Um, so I guess today is the day when I'll be actually going over that. I'll be showing you the parts that are generally recommended you replace when you do this service. Um, and all the tools that you would probably need. There's uh, probably one special tool that you would need uh, where you have uh, to get into the oil pump uh, to adjust the adjustment for the for the chain. Uh, now, a little bit of background of why this should be done on uh, any BMW S63 or N63 motors, uh, which are, I would say, close to 90 to 100,000 or over 100,000 miles uh, because these chains tend to... Um, I'm very loose they have a lot of slack in there and uh god forbid if they do miss a sprocket um it can be a disaster uh, so so i'll be getting in there i'll try to um capture all of the the, the the views of how it needs to be done um and i'll be sharing it with you guys in terms of parts you will need uh, the oil pan bolts they are recommended to be replaced. Uh, in my case, I'm not replacing them. I'll be using a thread locker. Um, and you're also, I mean, it's also recommended to replace um, the bolts that hold the brace. I am not re replacing them either. Um, I do not have enough time to order the replacement. I had to go somewhere. So I had to, I had to just get through this service. Um, other than that, you would need, um, you would need the gasket for the lower oil pan. Um, I have had this for, I don't know, at least about a year, year and a half. Uh, just, as I said, did not get around to actually doing it. Uh, you would also need uh, the gasket tacker. Is that what it's called? Yeah, spray a gasket sealant. Um, I have this, again, sitting for a while. I just did not get to it um and other than that in terms of tools you would only need this um hex set which is extended we'll be using h8 out of this which is this board right here um the reason for this is once you get into the oil pump um where you have to adjust the the tension on this chain um, the axis is not very great and you need something which is extended like this um and i think the rest about that's that's about it the rest of the tools would be standard um i'll see what's the size of the bolts on the brace and i believe um the torques on the on the lower oil pan is i think either 35 t35 or t45 but i'll find out once i when i'm in there all right so i'll i'll take you guys along all right so in terms of uh raising the truck there are two spots that I generally use uh, when I'm raising from the front and the back. Let me show it down here. So if you come underneath the truck, uh, you have a spot right here. If you see this in the middle of this plastic, that place you can easily put the jack and that should lift the front end of the truck. And then similarly at the back, I generally use the... Uh, the transfer case, not on the bolt, but um, specifically, which is the flatter surface on the on the transfer case, I tend to use that right there, which is right in between your exhaust pipes. That is a good spot to lift the rear end of, um, of your X5. I'm not sure if it will differ for other variants of X5, but for mine, this is what I use. All right, so once you have removed the oil pan, oil pan has uh, 25 E10 Torx bolts. They all have a ton of um, thread locker. So it's gonna be a pretty good arm workout for you guys if once you remove them. Uh, once you remove all of them, be careful when you're towards the end of the last bolt because even if you have removed all the oil, you will still have some sitting in the pan. Um, so. Just, just a heads up so you don't make a mess um, on the floor. 
Now, when looking at um, the bottom of the uh, end of the engine, uh, this is your oil pump right here. This is your oil pickup tube. Um, also inspect inside the pickup tube in, in case you see any, um, you know, debris or anything of that sort. Just, just as a heads up as to see, you know, how are your um, timing chain guides and all that good stuff is doing. Uh, just That's a good indication uh, to sort of see how things are over there. Now, moving back towards the end of the engine, you will see this chain, which is uh, your chain for the oil pump. Now, typically, as I said, that once you go over about 190, 80, 90, 100,000 miles, these chains tend to stretch and they have a lot of side-to-side uh, um, -side, uh, play or movement in them. Typically, about five to six millimeters is what's recommended by BMW. But if I look at mine, mine has over, if I can show it, mine has over probably about, I don't know, 30 or so. Oh my God, this is not a good view here. Things are pretty tight. Let me see if I can find a better view for you guys. Uh, so right here. So if you look at the chain, this is plenty. So if you see, if I push it out and if if it's moving, there is a potential that it might come off of the sprocket. Or as I said, that if it miss, misses one teeth of the sprocket, this could, could potentially be a disaster. So what we're going to do next is uh, remove this uh, uh, Torx. Um, and then after that, we'll have the adjustment right here. Let me try to figure out a good angle where I can just set the camera so you guys can sort of see along. All right, so you would need the T45 and then the longer extension so you can reach over there. Basically, the adjustment... Um, bolt is behind uh, this and you could <laughs> and you could potentially make a mess well I don't have any hanging right now to clean that up so Okay, so unfortunately, for some reason, my audio did not record here. Um, but what ended up happening was the tool I had, the extended um, um, hex key, that did not work. It was not long enough. So I had to come up with a solution on the go. Um, I ended up cutting in, um, an Allen key um, and then used an 8 millimeter socket to, to kind of get in there and adjust the uh, the slack of the chain. Um, again, the slack of the chain or the movement of the chain should be five to six millimeter each side. So in total, it should be about 10 to 12 millimeter. If you do end up over tightening it, um, just an FYI, the bolt um, that goes on top of the um, adjustment will not align. Um, you might be able to push your way into it and there's there's a potential you might strip the threads. So be very careful. Um, do not over tighten um, or over adjust or make it too tight. Um, um, just keep it between um, 10 to 12 meter, millimeters both sides um, and the, the bolt should align then. So here I was just going through the whole process um, um, and then uh, once I was done with that, I put the bolt back on uh, and the torque for the for the bolt uh, that goes on top of the uh, the tensioner is 45 millimeter. Um, once you're done with that, you can um, then put the oil pan back.
All right, so I just uh, put the pan back on. Um, I put a lot of thread lock around the bolts. Um, and the initial torque on the bolts is 10 newton meter. It's going to be in crisscross pattern. Once you're done with the 10 newton meter, then it's 24 newton meter as the final torque. In the end, I kind of got tired of the whole process because the tool did not really work. So I had to figure out something while I was going through the whole process. <laughs> um, so in the end, I put the oil pan back on, uh, torqued the uh, oil pan bolts, and then I had put the reinforcement plate back on. And the torque for that is 56 newton meter um, as the initial torque, and then there's a 90 degree angle to it. Um, once that was all done, um, I just started it up. Everything is all good. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or, or suggestions in terms of what kind of content I should be making next. Thank you so much.